<laughs> yep. So, hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all uh, doing well out there. Um, as it's approaching winter and we're now in the midst of a second lockdown, um, I thought some of you guys might be uh, starting your own projects and stuff like that, like I am. Um, so if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've just bought a new engine um, and I'm currently stripping that down. Now, engines are all quite greasy and um, oily and stuff like that, so I thought I'd buy a parts cleaner. Um, this is going to be a little review of the uh, the Clark's part washer. Um, so if you're interested in buying one, keep watching. Uh, I haven't actually, all I've done is just open the box. Um, I haven't actually got out and looked at it yet. So, you're doing this with me. Um, so, before I take it out, um, I think it's worth mentioning that I have got this from Machine Mart. It was like £51.99 um, including the VAT. Also, with that, I then decided to also buy the um, Clark parts washer washer liquid to go with it. Um, this was £6.59 including um, VAT. Now, you don't need all of this because you do water it down. Um, I think it said the motion water down is like three parts uh, to water. Um, so, yeah. We'll get more into that, maybe, I don't know. With any further ado, without any further ado, do, do. We weren't going to add that into it. Let's get it out. So, first of all, it's red, which we all know is a, the best colour. So, I've got a little sink in my shed, which is just below the camera. Um, I'm probably going to put it in that, because it looks a similar size to it. Maybe not, I don't know. So, oh, it's nice. It's got a little holdy-uppy thingy. Um, so yeah, it's got a, a pump and a thingy. Um, so you can get brush attachments for these. I didn't get it, it was there. Um, but I just thought this would be enough and I'll just use like my own brushes. Like I usually have um, either like a paint brush um, or like, like dish brushes with the handles um, to do this kind of business with. So let's get you over and have a closer look, shall we? So, getting into it, this is like the tray, I guess you'd call it. Um, has a little, these holes here to drain it. Not drain it, but um, basically what it is, let's just take this out and have a, have a look. So, if it comes out of that, so. Um, yeah, we've got a little pump here. I don't know whether it's a heated one or not. I know you can get, uh, in the bike shop I used to work in, um, you can get heated ones. Um, I should probably do a little bit more reading on this before I start the video, but. Uh. Anyway, so what that will do is you will fill it up with uh, water and the degreaser to probably just, I'd say, a centimetre, maybe a little bit more just below this actual pan where that sits in. Um, and what it does is it pumps it round and washes it through. Now these are pretty good. Um, so a lot of time when I was doing my engine last time, I was just having degreasing a spray bottle, brushing it and using a hose. Now this is good because it circulates it so you actually spend a lot less money on degreaser because you're just reusing it um, and what happens after a while is it then just tends to sit at the bottom um, and obviously you just need to clean it out every now and then. Let's find a place for this to go, plug it in, fill it up and give it a whirl I guess. Okay guys, so I'm all ready to go on this one. Got my gloves and I've got some eyewear. Obviously that'd be quite important because this stuff um, can be dangerous to your eyes and also the stuff you're cleaning is so like all the oil and that. Um, like I said, you can get a brush attachment for it. I haven't, so I'm just gonna use like old dish brushes and a paint brush um, is what I usually use. Now, you, if, you watch, uh, if you've been watching any of the other videos on my channel, you know that I'm currently rebuilding an engine. Now this is one of the chain tensioners from inside the head. Um, as you can see, it's very oily and dirty, almost got like a golden brown look to it. Um, it is made of aluminium, so it should um, be silver, like those bits where it's covered it. So we'll see how well this does at cleaning it, I guess. Um, so it's quite nice, the jet seems quite, well not jet, but the... Uh, Pump on it seems rather powerful. Oh, it's already clean off that mess. We'll try to make it a little bit more, a little harder. Mm 
<clears throat> okay, well, uh, as you can see, that's come back to being quite, uh, well, the way it should be. Obviously, there's a few bits in here that I still need to get at. Um, so that already seems to be working quite well. Um, it's nice where it's, I haven't got to keep spraying like a bottle on it or doing it in just like a sink and, and all the liquid and water going everywhere. Um, so it's quite nice where I can just brush it off like that and then just run it under the tap and it just keeps cleaning it. And I think what can also work quite well is having this tray is I guess I could put a larger items down in the bottom, uh, ones that are sort of very heavily greasy. Let's see what I've got. Um, well, I suppose it doesn't have to be in large items. I guess I could put that in there where it's quite built up there um, and just leave it to sit. Um, like that. And also with that tray being able to move, bring them on to my next piece is something like this. So I've got the timing chain cover Ooh, and a gasket apparently. So I guess I can just put that in there like that. Um, I'm actually going to turn the pump up and leave that running over the top. So that's quite nice being able to get that all on there. Um, so yeah, this uh, I know I was saying it could be a heated one. I, I definitely don't think it is a heated one. I think I'd be paying a lot more than what I did for it. Um, but I guess alternatively, you could probably run hot water into this, um, so it is warmer. So I've left that just running on that for about 30 seconds now. Um, I'm just gonna start using a brush, and that already is coming away quite easy. It's nice having the hose set up here and got a constant flow of water just running down on that. Yeah, so I guess this is also a test of the cleaning product that has come with it. I will leave a link for both these items in the description, so if you are interested, make sure you go have a look. It's working quite well. I wonder if we... Uh... Oh, yeah. That's working nice. Now I'll also add the um, the pump does have uh, changeable filters in it. Uh, I'm not quite sure where you get them from, but there is a stick on top of the pump um, saying what it what pump it is. You know, it says, well, it says it's an aquarium pump, um, but I'm assuming you can just look up that and uh, find it. Or alternatively, I imagine there's probably the specs of it on Machine Mart or or at Clark on the website. So like that. Just gonna run the brush in under it. Right, let's just turn that off quickly. Have a look. So this is the stuff that's been sitting under. I did quickly go over it with the brush and I couldn't really see, but it seems that it does clean very well. So I'm quite happy with that. It's made it a lot easier. So I'm going to try and clean this up a bit more and uh, I'll get back to you then. Hey guys, how's it going? So I didn't realise, uh, well I realised once I started editing the videos that I hadn't... Um, actually like finished the video filming it um, so it's a week later now after I've got it so I've actually used it quite a bit so I feel like I've got a decent amount of use that I can show you um, with it so this is that uh, inside of the timing chain cover uh, obviously it's bolted to the engine now so it kind of looks a little bit dirty in there but it's actually in here is really clean let me get a light for that so yeah it's actually come up really nice I could probably get a bit better uh, in some of the really tight places and that but other than that um yeah it's coming out really nice now i'll just spin the block over so we can have a look at the uh oil pump underneath so yeah as you can see the uh oil pump is quite nice obviously bits of oil for come down and dripped on it already um from where it's sat under the block again but yeah uh obviously a lot different compared to what it was um, and also this as well, I cleaned all of that up. Uh, obviously there's a few bits of stains and stuff in there, but in regards to the cleaner, 
as you can see, I've started using it as a bit of a storage thing again. Really good, really good. I like it. I suppose I should not obviously just do all pros, but a few cons, I guess. Um, like I was saying, it'd probably be nice if it was heated. Um, and also, I mean, at the end of the day, it is just like a metal basin with a pump in it. Um, so I kind of feel like you could buy a pump separate and make your own one um, for probably cheaper and make it a bit bigger. That's the only issue I'm finding is a little bit too small. Um, be nice to, for it to be a little bit bigger. Other than that, it works a lot better than just a plastic tub um, and a spray bottle. So that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'll leave a link for um, the products and that in the description below. So do check those out. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, also, while you're at it, be sure to check out some of my other videos um, where I am taking apart this engine and doing the head and stuff like that. Um, be very much appreciated. See you later.